Hi everybody, welcome. It's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and sorry I'm a little bit later than anticipated. I've been trying to sort out um, a Facebook, uh, I don't know how to explain it really, a fundraising effort that I'm doing on behalf of the Potter's House charity that I'm involved in. Uh, I thought the other day, hey, how about me sending out Mother's Day cards for folks? It will help them out. So I was, I've set that up and uh, I'm asking people to donate money and then I'm going to be sending Mother's Day cards. I do know, though, it's Mother's Day in the UK, not in the States. You have a different date. I do know that. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Vanessa and Sheila. You have not missed anything so far. Um, I've just come on. Just come on. So it's Masculine Monday and I think... A about a week or so ago when I asked what would you like to see, somebody in the comments on Artful Stamping Space said, oh, can we have something bright, please? So here I am. I'm going to do something bright for you, but keep it in that masculine theme. I've been particularly enjoying using Mountain Air recently. If you didn't check out my videos from over the weekend, particularly it was Saturday mainly, I experimented with a kind of fantasy art kind of theme and use this stamp a, a couple of times and so I'm wondering if we can use this for the shapes all right I'm almost going to forget that what is actually depicted on them and use it for the shapes because sometimes it's fun just to play with shapes and not really think about what they're meant to be depicting. Even look, see that's a brilliant circle, isn't it, that one? So we haven't got many stamp sets that have circles, so that's a good one. And then, you know, even, even these, these are sort of like weird triangles. Not sure if I'll use it right now, but it's there as an option. Or I might use it for the tree detail in a second. We'll see. Then, uh, what else have I grabbed? I've got Nature's Beauty here. So in the back of my mind, the idea I have so far is to kind of cover my sheet with bright colours and then maybe stamp some in bold colours, maybe stamp some lovely leaves or some animals or some trees. We'll see. But let's just get covering. Ah, Deborah, so yours is the May the 10th. Ah, right, ours is coming up next weekend, you see. And I did say to you, didn't I, the other day, that my husband, like, went into panic mode because he thought it was last Sunday. But uh, he got the dates wrong, thank God. Because uh, <laughs> I've got to send my mother something and, and his mother something. So there we go. Right, I'm just grabbing up YouTube so that I can read your comments easier. Great to see you all. Hope you are well. Uh, the UK has stepped up its... Well, the UK government has stepped up what we are allowed and... or suggested we're allowed or not allowed to do. So I'm going to be having to really think about what I'm going to do as an alternative to my face-to-face -face classes. Um, it looks like I'm going to be having to cancel face-to-face -face classes. But thankfully, because I've built up my experience here online, I'm hoping that I can share different ideas via the internet. So there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, so my mum is in the southeast Kent direction. And my, uh, my mother-in-law is in Bristol. Which again is south, but southwest. Oh, I never thought of that before. Yeah, one southeast and one southwest. So, right. I've not got a grand plan. I know sometimes you guys think I do, but I really don't today. Apart from get some colour on and see what happens. Yeah. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Just stick it down. Just get on with it, Ruth. Hi, Betty and Christine and Sandra. Oh, Sandra, are you new to my channel? Sandra Boxer. I nope. don't remember seeing you before. Hi, Anne-Marie. 
Sandra from South Australia. Hi, Vicky. Good morning. How are you? Jamie, Dolly. Saw my post, but I'm looking for a way, way to donate. Deborah, you need to private message me. So are you... Oh, you're in the States, aren't you? So possibly the easiest way for you to donate for me is to do it via PayPal. And then I will transfer the money to the bank, the correct bank account. Or if you can do international payments through your bank, then I can give you the UK bank details for which to do it. Thank you, Deborah. So just got some colour down. Not quite sure what we're going to do just yet. Hi, Ruth. We are all feeling the ripples. We are indeed and stamping up have been so awesome i'm on because i'm now silver elite i'm part of a exclusive uh, leaders group um communication group and um stamping up are just being so good in their handling of this situation and communicative which is really helpful so Oh, right, so I've got a little speck on there that's causing an issue, but don't worry. I'm, well, I'm saying don't worry. I'm not going to worry about a little speck. Just keep going and let's just keep adding colour. Big blobs of colour. Sometimes it's nice to work this way. You know, normally I'm doing something very delicate, aren't I? So this is great to do something so funky and different and, you know, fun and... Right, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm just going to take this bracelet off. This is a lovely bracelet someone gave me recently. And um, these little bits are dangling and bouncing, so uh, I think they're making a bit of a distracting noise, so I'm going to take it off. Right, what else can I do? I'll do a little one down here. And maybe another bit down here. Yes, um, I'm well, thank you. I'm well I say I'm well I'm I'm not I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent well but I'm not not well enough to make a complaint about it if that makes sense I wouldn't want to say oh yes yes I'm absolutely fine because I can just feel that I'm not a tip-top condition but nothing to complain about right so that's all lovely bold stuff down We've got this other shape here, which might be quite nice to play with. But let's have a look at what other shapes I've got to, to play with yet. Um, I've got, oh, there's a nice blob there from Snowfront. These are still on my desk from the weekend, to be honest. I've not packed everything away yet. So, Oh, now I'm going to flip it over. I don't want the textured side. I want just bold colour. So I have flipped over my stamp to see how that works. Get loads of colour on here because Mango Medley can be a little bit tricky. Right, let's see. Let's plop some of this on. Oh, that's not a very good word, is it? Plop. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making myself laugh here. <laughs> oh dear you know sometimes I'm my own funniest uh, entertainment and I'm not doing any can you see I'm not doing any stamping off it is all bold colour all of it all of it just doing it oh a sinus infection lorry that's nasty 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 that can be really painful Lots of breathing over steam and yeah, oof. Right, ah, uh, let's see what else. What can we do here? Keep stamping, just keep stamping. Keep stamping, just keep stamping. Right, marvellous. 
Hi Renee, great to see ya. So that was good to know. Those of you who have some of those photopolymer stamp sets that generally get used for, you know, very watercolory effect. If you don't want that effect, all you've got to do is flip your stamp over, stick it on the other way. Yes, it's not quite as sticky, but it'll do. It'll do, donkey. It'll do. Sorry, Shrek quotes abound. Oh, now, do I really want that colour? No, let's go in for daffodil. Although I'm regretting not doing the daffodil earlier. Never mind. Let's go in with some nice bits of yellow. It does look a bit 80s, doesn't it? Let's face it. It looks like some scary 80s knitwear, doesn't it? <laughs> I hadn't thought of it until you just said. That's got a little hair on it. I'll take that off. Yeah, who had a jumper like this in the 80s? Holding up in our home now. Went to pick up a few groceries and it's crazy. No milk, bread, meat, tissue, plus more. Worse than when we had a hurricane. Oh dear, crazy people. Stockpiling. I think now's the time to discover new recipes using pr foods that perhaps not everybody goes for. I think if we go to the shops just thinking, you know what, I'm not even going to go to the pasta aisle or I'm not even going to go to whatever. Let's just buy something a bit different and let's test out a new recipe. I think we're all going to be just rediscovering or de discovering new ways. You know? I think this is a, an amazing opportunity for us as, as a, I was going to say nation, but as a global community to go you know what let's just cook with something else you know why should pasta have the monopoly but i do get there are some vital things that people are struggling to get i'm hearing horrible stories of people struggling to find baby milk powder and that kind of thing which i'm hoping that the breastfeeding community will step up and start donating milk so, yes, we had the same issues here in WV. Even the veggies were bought out. Oh, that's great. That's good. People are buying veggies, which is sometimes not so prevalent. There we go. Right, I think uh, I'll stop it there for the yellow. And then maybe one more. And there. No meat in our grocery stores, I get except corned beef. There we go, corned beef and cabbage. Well, remember that lentils and those sort of things have a lot of protein in. So I actually, when I went shopping last week, I bought an extra packet of lentils because I thought if meat gets scarce, I c I've got lentils to fall back on. Sheila says, stomp the deer. Yes, that would be cool. I think I might stamp some deer on some of this. Uh, I also wanted to stamp some foliage. So I might do half and half. Shall I cut it in half now? And then do some foliage and some more deer. There wasn't any flower. Yeah. My poor husband went to the shop very early, seniors only. He won't be doing that again. Oh, why? Were they... Um, Was it busy? The senior only. Thanks, Karen. Right, so welcome again, anybody who's watching on the replay too. Uh, sorry we're talking about uh, lots of other subjects apart from stamping. <laughs> but, you know, it's keeping us going, all this stamping. Right, there's that beautiful deer. And... I don't know. Let's see. Will it go? Will it go? Do you think it will go, guys? What about stamping him in? I did have Knight of Navy next to me just in case, but I'm wondering if early espresso might be. Yeah, we, some of our, well, one of our 
chain stores called Iceland. We have a store called Iceland that that uh, specialises in frozen goods. I mean, they sell fresh goods as well, but they specialise in frozen goods. They're saying that their first hour is going to be uh, for older folks. And there's one local to me that are doing it for, I think, two hours, actually. So... Yeah, now we make bread pretty much every two days anyway, but um, bread flour has been out of stock. So it's like well, all these people have discovered how to make bread. It's like, what? Where have you come from? There's plenty of bread on the shelves. There we go. Uh, um, we love the deer. Right. Can I squeeze another one in, do you think? Maybe there? Maybe the head of one there. My freezer is full of pre-cooked meals so we won't starve. Oh, that's good. I think that the, the the tricky bit, the, not the tricky, the challenge will be for those people who are not so good at preparing uh, or, you know, if in a case of emergency. And so I think it will be that will be the time where people who are a bit more prepared will have to help those who aren't so much. Um, hi, Carol. Good idea. <laughs> Oh, Janice. Oh, de ha, de ha. Right, do we want some bits of foliage in here now? Something a bit delicate, like this one. Oh, some grass. We could have some grass. And some dotages. Excuse me while I get the blocks. Ooh, ham and bean soup in the crock pot. Oh, that reminds me, I've got some pig's trotters in my freezer that I could make some something with lentils, can I? Anyone got any pig's trotter recipes they'd like to share with me, please? Right, so let's have some foliage near each deer, I think, so it doesn't look odd. So I'm just popping some foliage next to the ground. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it, to have that there? Trotters, feet. Do you not call it trotters? What do you call them? Yeah, trotter. I know they're not everybody's favourite, that's why I've ended up with loads because my friend who has a small holding, they we bought, well, we paid for them to keep a pig the other year and we had a whole pig. So obviously I got four trotters, didn't I? Uh, but he said to me the other week, he goes, oh, my, my wife doesn't like the trotters. Do you want them? So I was like, yeah, I'll have them. So now I'm like, what am I going to do with them all? Yeah. Pig's feet. You just call them pig's feet. Right. Right, what do you think to that then, guys? What do you think? Do you think I need anything else?
I'm just sending a little message to somebody who's trying to communicate with me. Right, there we go. Right. Oh, closer please, says Karen. Getting closer. There we go. Something a bit different, a bit fun. Do you think your men folk might like it as a masculine, alternative masculine card? Yeah, here on Ruth's Cooking Show. Right, now I want to have a go doing something a bit bolder with the leaves from Tropical Chic. You see, I was slow on that because I forgot the name of it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go for this one. Yes, it does look very cami. And if you change the colours up, you could make it look even more cami. You know, if you used, I don't know, crumb cake and old olive and uh, or pear, no, no, maybe not old olive. Old olive can be quite dark. But pear pizzazz, crumb cake, Sahara sand, something like that. It would really look quite cami. Oh, with the dear jokes. <laughs> Dear, 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 the dear's dear. <laughs> right, so now, oh, what's going on here? My things stop. Jersey bean crock trotters and dried beans. Yeah, see now, I have done that before, Pat. Yeah, the Jersey kind of recipe yeah Ooh, look at that all right I'm just going to go for a uh, quite repetitive pattern here because I think you've got such a lot going on in the background that actually it helps the brain just to see something repetitive rather than going repetitive on um, random rather now you see that would go down there, wouldn't it? Look, that would go there and there. So I'm going to stop there and swap it up for something else. Hi, Martina. Nice to see you. Yeah, we've not we've tried not to mention the c word. All right. What about a leaf coming off there? And a leaf coming off there, and a leaf coming off there. And I guess we'd see a little bit of the end of that one there. Ooh. Losing stumps. What else have we got in here that we could use? Ooh, we've got the stripes. That might be fun. I'm off work, all school's closed. Hey, so you've got crafting time. I see if the school, when, I'm sure the schools will close in the UK at some point, but um, I've, one of my sons is doing A-levels, which is the examinations before going to university. So he really needs to just get on and study. So my house is probably going to turn into a bit of a school, to be honest. Um, because, yeah, so my eldest son is doing A-levels, my youngest, uh, my second son is doing GCSEs, and um, and then it's going to be a case of trying to keep the other two off the computer. So I have said to them, we are going in the garden, we're going to do lots of gardening, because I've hardly touched my garden this winter. And it needs sorting out. Okay, I'm going a little bit more random with these stripes. I'm just kind of looking for a gap and filling it, really. Hmm. 
I think that works guys that looks good doesn't it <laughs> yeah I know it looks a bit like a barcode doesn't it Yeah, I like how that turned out. Would you like me to see what it looks like in camo sort of colours? I could do a smaller version. I, got, oh, I did have some bits of card. Oh, here we go, here's one. Right, so let's have a look at the optional colours. So, what did I say earlier? Pear pizzazz. Plum cake. Oh, these are all on my desk, so. Maybe a little bit of blue just to brighten it. I know it's not traditional, a traditionally a camo colour, but um, it's just a bit of fun. Hi Rita, nice to see you. We are experimenting making bright backgrounds and then going over it with something darker as a bit of a contrast. So I've got my that ready. Where's did I put it back? No, did I put it back? Where's it gone? Oh uh. Let me just check if it's not on the floor. Oh, there it is. Thought it was on the floor. Nope. Found it. This is the piece I wanted. Oh, thank you, Martina. You're too kind. Right, let's get some of this on. So, this is just for you guys who thought the camo was a good idea. See, it's not something that, it's not an area that kind of interests me personally because I don't really have people involved in that kind of thing. But I appreciate that for some of you it's very important. Oh, Vanessa, I'd get it in. I'd get your order in because um, Stampin' Up! was saying that to try and protect their workers... They are changing the how the warehouse shift pattern works and so it means that it will be working slightly slower than usual but so you have to be a bit more patient with them but they will get their, your stuff out so if you are 
wanting to place an order, I would actually get on and do it. And I would say that's the same for my customers as well. If you're thinking of placing orders in case you get quarantined or whatever, um, I would actually place it ASAP. Because we do not know what's going to happen. Um, Oh, it's a 60th birthday celebration for your friend cancelled for tomorrow and the trip to Holland cancelled for Easter. Oh, I feel Sahara sand would work. After 49 years, you think I'd remember. Remember what, Donny? Right, so, um, should I go with the deer again? Because it seems quite a... an appropriate image. So this could be just for one card. This would, I would stick this. Let me see if I can find a piece of card stock. Australia Post. Oh. What why would Australia Post not be? It might just slow down a little bit, I guess. Our church taught excuse me. Our church told us all sex sixty and over to stay home. We had a streaming service. Yeah, I think we're gonna be getting to that point as well. I was discussing it with my husband to figure out what would be the best way to stream our services. Because the location where we have for church, we don't have access to the Wi-Fi. But I've got data on my phone, so we're thinking we could use Facebook, have a Facebook service. Or I guess I could stream it from my channel. I couldn't, I haven't got any other channels that have got a thousand subscribers or more, so I could do it from my Artful Stampin' channel, which would be a bit odd, wouldn't it? But it would mean that um, the congregation will be able to see it. The Zoom app. Oh yes, I've heard a lot of people are signing up to Zoom. Yeah. Right, there we go. This works, I think, for a, a guy's card, doesn't it? There we go. You prefer the foliage versus the deer. That's fair enough. I think, uh, yeah. Oh, Martina, I know. I've, a friend of mine. Oh, you guys know Scarlett Pete, who's been on like on my lives. So she's been visiting her mum here in Welshpool, and she actually lives in Hungary. And she heard that Hungary was closing the borders, so she literally left today, and arrived back in Hungary tonight. And they've closed the borders at midnight. So what's the time now? Yeah, they'll be closing. I think they closed the borders about half an hour ago. So, yeah, so hello, Scarlett, if you are watching on the replay. Glad you got back to Hungary, okay. Right, let's do something a bit more bright and funky now. <coughs> if anyone wants to suggest colours, I want to try and use a different colour scheme this time. So I've already used... Tell you what, oh, anyway, let me just go over the colours I used last time, because you guys like me to do that. So I've already used Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight and Coastal Cabana for this one, for, for these ones. And then I used Night of Navy for the leaves 
and early espresso for the dear one. Okay. Um, for this one, we used crumb cake, Sahara sand, coastal cabana, and pear pizzazz. Okay. And then early espresso. Take care, Betty. Nice to see you. Right, so ideas for another one, folks. I'm not going to use those ones again. Pool party? What about a bit of pool party? Oh, red, grey and blue. Oh, that's a good, yeah, that would be a good one. So what about a bit of poppy parade? Now, do you want me to go like a more deeper blue, like blueberry bushel? Or do you want me to go like a turquoisey, like Bermuda Bay, that kind of thing? Some smoky slate. Hi, Denise. Lovely to see you. <gasps> Gina got her demo stuff. Oh, and you got a free paper pumpkin. <gasps> How cool is that? Blueberry. Oh, Martina wanted purple, pink and light blue. Martina, can I save that for another one? Because we're trying to keep it masculine-ish tonight. Good suggestion, though. Right, let's go with these then. Uh, I haven't used this one. So let's... Ooh, we could have, like, fire mountains, couldn't we? So what about if I... And look, I'm actually flipping these the other way. I want the detail because I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, I've got a tiny weeny little hair on it. Oop. No, this one is blueberry bushel. I'm sorry, it's the one that I always seem to go for at the moment. Although I did use Pacific Point the other day. Hi, Cindy. Oh, how scrummy is that? Oh, now, if you don't like your paper pumpkin, it's worth checking out demonstrators and their alternative uses for paper pumpkin. Sometimes by completely using the kit out of the box. Not out of the box. <laughs> yeah, out of... <laughs> you take it out of the box, but you use out-of-the-box ideas. Uh, you can make the paper pumpkin work for you, says she who hasn't really had that many paper pumpkin, that much paper pumpkin experience, because we don't have it in the UK, apart from we had that special kit that Shelley did. They made it available to us in the UK as a special, well, and Europe actually, not just the UK. Yeah, what what Dolly said. That's a really good tip. Oh, 
Oh, so they ship you out one that they had a spare of. It's not a current one. That's a good idea to kind of get rid of their stock, isn't it? That's quite a good, good thing that they do. Right, so now I think I want some nice fiery red mountains. What do you think? Nice bit of red mountains. Now I kind of want the mountains in the background, don't I? However, I don't think it's going to, if I don't use a mask, it's not going to work. So I think I'm going to put my mountains in the foreground. And it's just going to have to be a fantasy look. Since I've been organising, I found the Circle Strip Star and Heart Stencils. Woohoo, Cindy! Those are lovely stencils. I've still got those, actually. I, they come in very useful for when I do children's workshops. These mountains are very dramatic. <laughs> See, I saved your money. Phew! <laughs> Usually I'm getting you guys to spend money. So there we go. That's good. This is the Poppy Parade red, Martina. It's a very bright red. It's very nice. Okay, I want some stamped off images here. Like that. There we go. Right, now we've got grey to go now. I'm just going to have a breather and have a think while I clean my stamp. Looks like a skirt border I had in the 70s. That does make a lot of sense actually. We could do grey. Oh, no, I didn't get round to using this. We have, oh, we could just do lots and lots and lots of clouds. Might just do a repetitive cloud thing. Like just lots and lots of them, so it makes a pattern. I'm not, I'm not looking for realism here. This is very much about pattern creation. Grey granite you want, okay. I'll swap it out. Right, so Ooh, who's been watching Picard on Is it Amazon? I like that. It's just a whole pattern of shapes and yay! Oh, Martina's been watching it. Oh, isn't it good? 
I do love Patrick Stewart. I think he's phenomenal. I could listen to him talking all day. He's got such a gravitas to his voice, hasn't he? It's just lovely. Oh, thank you, Donny. Well, I suppose it's trying, sometimes it's about using the stamps as pattern as opposed to um, trying to make them look like anything, you know. Because otherwise you can get a bit overwhelmed with it all. Right, I feel like it needs something else now to cut through all this. Um, and I'm not sure if the li the trees might be the answer for this, or just a whole nother stamp set, really. Mm. Phone is about to get... Oh, take care, Subo. Uh, Picard is on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Cindy, I've never heard anyone phrase it quite like that. <laughs> That's hilarious, Cindy. Oh my word, that is so cheeky. So cheeky. What about Knight of Navy, guys? If I just use the trees as a pattern, like I just put trees, like patterned all over. I haven't, have I got a fern stamp? Right, let me have a think, let me have a think. Something that looks more ferny. What about, oh, now this looks more ferny. Like, can you imagine that one? Have that across. I'm just going to double check to have a look at my stamps, but I really don't think I have got a fern one. I'll, I'll look in the Christmas stamps as well. Um. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, or I've got the birchy one. <laughs> That's funny, Deborah. You could eat crackers in my bed. <laughs> oh, it's Picard is um did you ever used to watch Star Trek The Next Generation? It's a recent production of uh well it's like Yeah, Picard in the future type thing. It's Captain Picard. Oh, I can't explain it. So Captain Jean-Luc Picard was the captain of the Starship Enterprise in Star Trek Next Generation. And now it's they've filmed. <laughs> they filmed. I'm laughing at Cindy. Oh, my life. You're so funny. As long as you just very careful what word you use. <laughs> oh, what about this one? Well, it might be too fine, though. That's the only problem. Balloons. I know, I don't have any balloons. I think, I've got a feeling that's going to be too fine. Um... Oh, I'll tell you what I got out that I do, haven't used yet is this one. Oh, I've got an idea. What if we stamp this? Then 
mask off this area and sponge around it so that it focuses in on that portion. Palm tops. Mm. What the palm tops from? Waterfront. Not quite sure where I'd put it. Uh, looks like an amoeba. Uh, in Sea of Textures, there is. Right, so this is Knight of Navy. That one. That one. She's off. <laughs> Thanks, Janice. I love the faith you have in me. <laughs> oh, and then the other thing you can do is you can lift and twist or move slightly and stamp again so you get this kind of like extra ring. So don't forget if you're watching this on the replay and I'm moving far too slow for you, you can speed it up. You can do a funny setting and get it to go fast. Right. What about us stamping some little leaves around? Or even some tree <gasps> now to bring in the trees to mask off the area. Happy little trees. Put that one there. That one there. Looks like a telescope. Uh-huh. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up very well. Have that right next to it there. Oh no, didn't ink that up properly. It's always worth checking if you've inked it up properly. Then we'd miss all your great comments. Well, I just get speeded up, Karen. You still hear my comments, but I just talk a bit faster. <laughs> uh, you know. So Now I need some little trees. Little, little trees. That's because I've got waterfront out already. We've got these little trees here. And we've got some splatters. <laughs> Right, I'm only going to ink, oh, I was going to say, I'm only going to ink up, yeah, I'm only going to ink up the trees themselves, not the branches, because I want to have these quite low down. And just pop a few more here. There we go, what do you think of that then? Sort of frames it, yes, it sort of looks like a telescope, whoever said that. It does a bit, doesn't it? And then if we get the splatter stamp, what if we then put Oh, this would oh this looks like the Stargate from Stargate, doesn't it? Look, what if we do splatters 
around and about, not inside it, like that. And then it just makes that section way more clearer, doesn't it? Mm. Right, let's try that again then. Let's see if we can, we can, you know, do variations on a theme, can't we? But sometimes it's good to, you know, if you have an experiment with one idea, see if it can be recreated or improved upon. So, so I'm just doing lots of splatters on this one just to see. There we go. And then this time I'm going to do some trees here. Across there, like that. Hmm. Yep, it looks like Stargate. Oh, and then we've got this little bit of grass here. I know we haven't really used uh, the Nature's Beauty one, but actually comes in quite handy for a bit of extra texture. That looks nice, doesn't it? There we go. Right, well maybe I should offer Stargate cards. Do you have a little round object which you could stamp inside the gate as a moon or sun? Hmm, I'm not sure if it would show... Well, this one might, I might be able to, just inside there. Because these ones have barely got any sky. Oh, sorry. These ones have hardly got any sky to them. But I might be able to fit a sun or a moon in there like that. What should we do? Could do a little moon. I'll let you tell me. Yeah, would you prefer a moon or a sun? <laughs> a mutant space bunny. <laughs> uh. I think you guys are starting to go a bit loopy from being inside all the time. Right. We can have a mutant space bunny if you really want. A light grey moon, says Sophie. Lepage. Hello, Sophie Lepage. Welcome. I don't think I've seen you on my lives before. I think he almost needs... I need to stamp him somewhere else and stick him on because there's so much detail here that I think he'll get lost. So... Right, let's cut a mask for the moon. 
Ooh, sorry. Just gonna mask that section there. There's our grey granite. It could well be Vanessa, yes. Dust bunnies on the brain. I like the idea of that, that you're looking through to another world and you can see the moon in that world, but you can't see it in this world. Now that we're stuck indoors, I can finally catch your live video. Oh, well, welcome, Sophie. Oh, so you're not new to my channel, you're just new to the live. Well, there we go. You are very welcome. Right, little bunny, little bunny, let's get a scrap of card. Oh my word, I've got so many stamps on my desk right now. It's crazy. Let's stamp a couple. Oh, thank you. Yeah, silver linings. Ah, oh, from Quebec. There we go. Yeah, it's a tricky, tricky time difference, isn't it? Because I think I must come on live when quite a few of you guys are at work. Oh, you want him looking through the portal or do you want him sitting in the portal? Four PM. Where Cindy is in her part of the world. What oh you want one bunny looking in the portal and one looking a bit further in. Hi, Neverana. I'm just going to move the camera up a bit, guys, because it's a bit in the way. Oh, yes, Watership Down meets Stargate. I think we need to come up with some challenges for themes of cards. I should write down a whole list of different themes and then pick two out of a hat.
Oh, look. They just need colouring in now with a bit of brown. You could have one in dark crumb cake and one in light or one in what have I got here? Oh light soft suede. I've got light soft suede and dark crumb cake. Yeah, mashups never on it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yes, these are not just any old cute bunnies. These are psycho bunnies. Oh, I've just gone over his eye. You could give it I could give him red eyes. They could be like cyborg bunnies. Well, what we do is we create this whole backstory and then we give the card to a friend and we just don't tell them. That will then look like one bunny is already through and one isn't sure. Yes, exactly. So that's why I thought I'd do them in separate colours. Yeah, one is like, hmm. Do I really want to go through the Stargate Watership Dam portal? Or not? Yes. Look there and there. No, there and there. Hold on. See, I'm wondering whether to just have him sitting there, and I'll cut that bit off there so it looks like he's actually sitting inside it. There we go. It looks like he's actually sitting in there, doesn't it, now? <laughs> I actually thought, just thought I could send some cards out as a way to brighten up and tighten the... Absolutely, yeah. No, I think so. I think so, definitely. And I have kept saying on my chat on my artful stamping space to set up some sort of like swap card thing, card swapping thing. So I could still go ahead and do that. Can't decide if you have a vivid imagination, you're just plain bonkers, or you watch too much TV. It's not me, Janice. I don't watch Stargate. It was that Deborah. Is it Deborah? Who was it that suggested it? Yeah, we are bonkers, Janice. It is that we're bonkers. Well, we get a bit bored of, you know, florals. You know, that Ruth has done them to death. <laughs> it's all my fault. Uh Like we want something different now. Doctor Who. Hey, yeah. Oh, but not the new one. Oh, the new Doctor. She's annoying. Bring back what's-his-face with the bow tie. So I just realised I forgot to cut that. Cut this bit down. Um... Mm, hold on, sorry, I've just got to... That's a great idea, Janice. Mm -hmm. 
Right now, I'm a bit torn because on this side here, I've got a bit of a less stamping. So I really want this bit. This means that my stargate will be over to the side a little bit. Yeah, it's all about seeing the world in a slightly different way. some leaves. I was thinking this one is missing something. What about some leaves going round the portal? It looks like it's growing up around it. Exactly, Vanessa. We can all talk to each other, can't we? I'll tell you what will be interesting if one of us actually gets ill. I'll be interested to see how it actually feels for different people to get it and be ill. Not that I'm wishing it on anybody, but it's bound to happen, isn't it, at some point? I can still broadcast from my corona bed. Oh. Yes, me too, Janice. It is lovely. Right, do a couple more leaves. Do you think that's a bit better than Martina? So that it sort of feels like there's a bit more of a differentiation. Another time you can make a front and back card and cut out the gate to see through to the new landscape. <gasps> yeah, that's a good idea. Right, where's me wabbits? Oh no, that's not the one for the rabbits because I had more grass on it. Here it is, that one. There we go. And then we could stick that one with the dimensional, couldn't we? Raise that one up a bit. Ah, oh, that's a nice idea, Cindy. Ooh, that's a bit too much glue. Right, where's my dimensionals? Space Easter card. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you, Sophie. A little bit bonkers. What's that quote from Alice in Wonderland? We're all mad in here. Yeah. I think this one could do with a few leaves around the space porthole. I don't know who's going to buy these cards. These will go in my stash and someone equally bonkers is going to want this. A child will probably have nightmares, yeah, you're right.
Now you see to make it Eastery, we should put a little cross in the background there. Comic on, yeah. Right, does this one need a few more centers? Could auction it off. Could do. Yeah, I could put them on eBay, couldn't I? Who wants a bonkers Stargate Stargate stroke? Red Mountains. Jean Luc what? <laughs> Jean Luc, you mean when he's not parking his slippers under your bed? Yes. Will you tell him next time you see him? Ah, hi, Stitch and Topsy. You're sloping in late again. Is this a Stargate card? Well, it's been rumoured, yes, by certain people on this chat that it looks like a Stargate card. So we're sticking with that story. We've got Stargate meets the Easter Bunny. I keep thinking, what's that song? Is it the something candy mountain? What, what is that from? I've got it going around in my head. What song is that? Do, 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 do. No, how's it go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and also, Tish and Topsy, we've got people fighting over Jean Luc Picard in this uh, episode. Big Top Candy Mountain, that's it. It could also be the Rim of Atlas of Wine. So yeah. Right, I think I'm going to stop there, guys, before I go really loopy. See, you just don't know what adventures Ruth will take you on from week to week. This is This is the joy of coming and watching my channel you just don't know what might happen I mean who'd have thought it can't you tell we're in the older range we can dream big <laughs> what Jean-Luc oh my goodness have I got have you have I ever told you guys that I saw him do a production once in London I think I probably have, but some of you are new to my channel, so you won't have heard the story. So he did a one-man show version of A Christmas Carol in the Old Vic Theatre in London, probably over 20 years ago, when he was a young man. And I bought tickets for my, my mother and I to go and see it. And he did this, it literally was a one-man act of the whole of the Christmas Carol story. And he played all the different characters and he was just on stage with like a high, like a stool, a desk, um, a high desk. And then from time to time he might put a hat on or whatever, very plain costume. He was incredible. He he would he yeah he had a standing. I mean we I'd have stood there for minutes and minutes and minutes giving him a standing ovation. I mean he did have a standing ovation. He was incredible. Um, and I think there's probably other actors that have done it since. Oh sorry, uh, I'm trying to think who else has done it recently. But yeah, to remember all those words and to the energy. Yeah, he's a phenomenal actor. Very classically trained. You know, all these classically trained actors, they, they do very, very well. Right, so uh, this was the first patterns. So we did a one-sheet wonder with 
that and then we split it to do the two different ones then we did this one just to see what it was like with the camo you know going for that camo look although coastal cabana is probably a little bit too bluey but you can change it up um, and then we've got our stargate stroke mountain scene stroke easter bunny look so that was quite fun that was a bit of an adventure you're right tracy <laughs> oh and i've just got glue on that oh dear this is what happens when i don't throw my little glue slodge away get that off quick there we go yes he yes he was a member of the shakespeare company yeah but he i mean he he was at the royal shakespeare company for many years with uh Alan, well, Al, yeah, he, what do you mean? I wonder if he was there when Alan Rickman was there. Uh, yeah, so Alan Rickman, people like, um, oh, Ian McKellen, yeah, all that lot. Um, Emma Thompson, was Emma Thompson ever? Yes. I mean, they were second, that, that second generation, that second wave, really, with Kenneth Branagh. Um, yeah. So, it's nine o'clock here and I would be legless by morning tea time if I had had wine. Yes, we can do this without drugs or alcohol. So a glass of wine would be nice. Yes, a glass of wine would be nice. I'd better go and buy some before everyone buys it up. <laughs> ah. Oh, yes. Okay, thanks, Titian. Um, right, so, voting time. We've got... Psychedelic Deer, that's one. Psychedelic Leaves, two. Camo Deer, and then Stargate Cards, four. So you can vote, which is your favourite. Yes, it's nearly bedtime for me, Martina. I, think I appreciate you staying up, because I know it's an hour ahead for you. Oh, Gina, you're welcome. Two is your favourite. Off the world bunnies, Stargate. <laughs> yeah, very productive. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards out of that. Yeah. And just to remind you again, if you would like to purchase uh, one of the, I've got all those large cards that I'm donating for the charity that I support so um, some have gone already I need to pick put one aside for somebody um, so we've got that one that one um, that one and that one and that one uh, if you want to check my Facebook post regarding this uh, and then private message me if you're in the UK, then it's probably easier. And Mother's Day is this Sunday. If you're abroad and want to donate, then do message me and I will give you bank details or PayPal details um, for me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out my Facebook post. Right, I like the deer, but then again, I know nothing about Stargate. That's fine, Rita. Yeah, there's a there's a few sci-fi fans in the room, you see. They all start creeping out once we when we start making anything a little bit sci-fi. Shall I flip the camera? Oh my goodness, an hour and twenty-four minutes we've been going. <sighs> Mike, it's not very flattering view of me, is it? Look, I found I was doing a bit of sorting out in my room earlier, in my bedroom earlier, and I found this. I haven't worn it for ages. This was the, it's a hairband, it's a thick hairband. I made this on the way to New York, on the plane to New York. And I did need it because I came, went in January and it was quite, well, not cold all the time. But anyway, it kept my ears warm. Uh, but it sort of looks like a hat from that point. But it's not, it's, oh, I've got, I've got awful hair now. Because I've had it on, but never mind. So yeah, it's just a. Band. 
with a big flower that I crocheted. Looks a bit silly like that though, doesn't it? Right, so nice to see you guys. Oh, and I've got the flower on the other side. There we go. Oh, lovely to see you all. Thank you for keeping me company. I'm glad that I've kept some of you guys company who are a bit stuck in. You're a night owl, Martina. Oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah, this was a hoot. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Good. There we go. Lovely to see you, Janice. I hope you've been productive sitting at your desk watching me. Whatever you've been doing. Yeah. Great to see you. And yeah, great showing off of those new products. So if you haven't seen Janice's video, uh, showing off, what's the name of that suite? It's a new suite that's available. Uh, if you haven't seen it, then um, do check it out. I'm trying not to touch my face, but then I go, oh, I've got itchy nose. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you, guys. Ornate garden, that's it, ornate garden. Yeah, beautiful collection of products, and Janice just couldn't help herself. It all fell in her basket. If I would wear anything so close to the face without any hair showing, you would turn to stone seeing me. Oh, why is that, Martina? Mind you, this if I if I wear it a bit further back like that, that does look a bit odd, doesn't it? So that's why I wear it quite low down here. Be great for class, this Janice. You'll make loads of money off that. <laughs> oh, funny. Whoops. Click. Oh, Martina. Well, I suppose you know what suits you. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Right, take care for now, guys. Might see you soon. Probably see you soon. 